Congratulations, you booked the job. You got a part on a TV show or a feature film, a couple of lines or a couple of scenes. But now that you got the job, and if you've never been on set before, what can you expect next? Stick around and I'll tell you what you can expect. Most film and television productions have a pretty quick turnaround, so very likely after being cast, your call time you're going to find out is within a week, even a couple of days of finding out you got the role. So you're going to be getting communication from production and very likely the first person that you're going to be hearing from is somebody from wardrobe. Wardrobe is going to ask you your size measurements. They're going to also ask you if you have any items in your personal wardrobe that could suit the characters such as boots, jackets, pretty much anything. They would rather have clothes that actually fit you than to have to search for something to fit you. If it's a period piece, of course they're going to supply all that stuff. But they generally want to sniff around and find out what you might have to make you more comfortable and their job a little bit easier. You're also going to hear from one of the PAs and this person is going to inform you of your call time. They're going to send you via email any maps or, or other information that you may, may need to know. The lines may have changed already and so you could end up getting a truncated version of what you auditioned for or it could even be more lines added to the scene but they're going to be in touch with you before you even show up on set. More than likely your call time is going to be early morning. Now there have been times where I've had calls late morning or even early afternoon but most of the time it's very early morning. In fact so early it's usually dark. So you'll show up on set and more than likely the person that you've been in contact with, the PA, is going to be the one to find you after you, you report in and they're going to take you directly to your trailer, your own personal trailer or honey wagon as we like to call them. You're going to sit there for a bit. What's going to be waiting for you there is going to be your sides and if you don't know what sides are, sides are in reference to your lines, your part of the script that you're going to be using in scene work. Those are sides. And more than likely your wardrobe is going to be hanging there too. Now your trailer is going to be very tiny, just a place, to, maybe like a bench or something you could lie down on. It's going to have a sink. But what's important is it's, it's going to be warm if it's cold outside, it's going to be cold if it's hot outside, and it's going to be private. And you need privacy when you're preparing to get onto set. Um, after you're there for a bit, the first place they're going to bring you is makeup, the makeup trailer. Um, in the old days, we would be there a little longer. They would, the process to put makeup on us would take longer because they used to put more makeup on us. But now in the advent of high definition cameras, which sees everything, um, makeup is used uh, more sparingly these days, I've noticed. They might be covering up blemishes or such, um, but they're focusing more on your hair uh, for the character, be it a period piece or, or just whatever the character may need. You're there for a while, and then they send you back to your trailer to put on your wardrobe. And then after you have that on, they're going to send you to wardrobe. And then they're going to check to see if everything fits right. And I'd say most of the time there's a little something that they need to fix, like either pull in the, the hem or, or, or adjust something, you know, sew it up. And then they'll take that. You'll go back to the trailer and wait. They'll have you put it on again. And then once they A-OK, -okay, like, OK, this looks good on the character or on the actor for the character, then they're going to send you to the sound person. Then the sound person is going to wire you up. And what that means is they're going to put a lavalier mic on you. And if you don't know what a lavalier is, it's a little clip mic. And it's usually going to be in the lapel somewhere or hidden under your shirt. There's usually a wire that goes down. Uh, it'll probably go down. Um, even into your pant leg and then you wear a transmitter usually on your on your hip and that is how they get your voice recorded properly so here we are smack dab in the middle of what I like to call the hurry up and wait phase we've been rushing to the trailer we've been rushing to makeup and hair we've been rushing to wardrobe we've been waiting here we've been rushing there once everything is on you, all the A-OKs have happened, you're wired up for sound and you're ready to be on set, now you're going to wait. Very rarely has it been within 20 minutes or a half hour of being fully suited up have I been on set. Most of the time the PA is going to inform you like, we're looking at maybe an hour or something Chris, just hold tight, okay thanks, and then maybe 45 minutes later, it's going to be another hour 
So just hold tight, and then maybe a half hour later, actually we're gonna be going on now, so come on. What I'm trying to illustrate is you just never know exactly when you're gonna be expected to be ready and on set. So, the conclusion is, be ready at all times. You're being given the environment, the trailer, the privacy, all of that to be prepared. So use whatever time you have in between being shuttled around to be prepared. When you do finally get on set, this is what you can expect. About two to three takes per setup. What a setup is, is a camera set up with the crew behind it and the actors in front. A different setup would be a different angle. So imagine if this is a scene, this setup, and there's, there's an actor, say, right here, and it's over the shoulder, then the next setup would be over my shoulder to that actor. And another setup would be the master shot from far away. There's other things, too, depending on the scene or how complex they're going to make it. But generally, for TV especially and most films, there's going to be about three setups per scene. And you're going to do about two to three takes per setup. This is all just averages. There's always exceptions. But that's about what you can expect. Cut to your final take on your final setup. That's a wrap. Good job, the director says. We got that in the can. Now it's hurry up back to the trailer. Hurry up, get your wardrobe off, hang it back up. Hurry up, we gotta sign the contract. And this is something we need to talk about. The PA is gonna bring you your contract. That's gonna show the hours you were on set, the rate that was agreed upon, um, all the details will be in there. If anything looks off, um, this is where your agent gets involved. You need to do a quick phone call to your agent and not, not deal with it yourself, not go to the PA, say this is wrong. That's not your job, that's your agent's job. They're gonna take care of that. They're gonna do whatever negotiating or fixing that they need to do. All you do is perform, all you do is sign when everything's okay. Let your agent take care of that. One other thing is goodbyes. I like to put punctuation on the relationships that, that I started on set wherever I go. So, I, I, particularly the director. I like, I like to say goodbye, thank you. Thank you for giving me this opportunity. Oftentimes, you don't necessarily have a clear cut moment to do that. Maybe they step away for a moment, and go for it then. If they're busy with other people, maybe try to get in their eye line and, and do a quick wave just to, just to get that connection. That's about what I would recommend. Usually the other actors are easier to find on, on the way out. You can exchange phone numbers and all that. But all this is happening all at once. It's amazing how chaotic it can get at the end of a shoot day. They're usually releasing actors in batches so the PAs are running around there's just a lot going on and the next thing you know you're gonna be in your car driving home and oh I didn't talk to that person or whatever so just know that that's gonna happen really quickly and it's gonna it's gonna feel like a tornado at the end of shoot day but that's how it always is so folks I hope you learned something today I sure had a good time showing and sharing all this with you my name is Chris, this is Olsen Acting, and until next time, take care of yourselves and each other. Take care, bye.